it's James here from goodguitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Halo by Beyonce. Now you might have noticed from the intro that this song is just four chords and it's the same four chords over and over with the same strumming pattern which means it's a great one if you're still working on your you know your basic chops and if you want to play along with the original recording you're going to have to put a capo on the second fret. For this lesson though I'm actually going to remove the capo and we're going to play it just without a capo, just in case you don't have one. But later, I highly recommend playing along with the original recording. It's excellent for your musicianship and it'll make sure that you know everything. If you do that, you gotta put your capo on the second fret. And now, let's learn the chord shapes. Our first one is G. From there, we go to A minor. Then we have E minor. And then we have C. And if you're not familiar with those chord shapes, I have a couple resources for you. There's my ebook, which is free for all my subscribers, and has all the diagrams and all that stuff. It shows you exactly what to do. There's even some videos that go with it. And if you want, though, the like guided tour through all of it, I also have a premium beginner's course, and there's links to both of those down below. So if you need any help with the basics, you know, with getting to the point where you can play with tons of songs, check either of those out. Otherwise, I'd like to show you a couple tips before we move on to make those chord switches a little bit easier. So we start off on that G, and when we go to A minor, pretty much every single thing about that chord is different, right? You have to move every one of your fingers. And whenever that happens, I like to just pick one of my fingers to be the leader. So when I'm going from G to A minor, I say my first finger is the leader. It goes right there. Then I put down my other two fingers based off of that. And you can even take your hand off the guitar and just try that. You know, just making the shape from scratch. First finger, then those two. And once we're on this A minor chord, switching to E minor is quite simple. We just leave our middle finger down and then we put our first finger there. So that one's quite easy. You just leave the middle finger down place your first finger, boom, we're on an E minor. Now, to get to a C chord from here, leave that middle finger down again and go to a C chord. So all the way from A minor, leave the middle finger down, E minor, leave the middle finger down, C. And once we're on the C, going back to G, once again, that's one of those ones where none of the fingers are the same, you just have to make the shape. So I just lead with my middle finger, making that bottom string and that usually helps out a lot. But if you want like all this stuff for all the chords, that's what I do in my premium course. So I recommend checking that out if you want to get really fast chord switches. Anyways, now that we're familiar, a little bit comfortable with those chords, let's practice playing them in order. For the rhythm, we're just going to do down strokes and count along. This way we'll get each chord for the right amount of time. Starting off on G. One, two, three, four. So before moving on, make sure you can play the chords just like that, downstrokes only, counting along, and when you're ready, we can take a look at the strumming pattern, which goes like this. I'm going to do it super duper slowly for you. Three and four.
So that's a pretty long strumming pattern, but it's really simple when you break it down. Let's chop it up into two parts. First bit goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and. So it's just four strokes. One and two and three and four and one and. And whenever you're trying to learn strumming patterns, especially when you're first getting started, I recommend this method where you wave your arm down and up with the counting. One and two and three and four and. All the down strokes are the numbers. One, two, three, four. And all the up strokes, those are the ands. One and two and three and four and. And then you do that with your arm and you say the strumming pattern. Down, down, You know, you could even just say the numbers when that happens. So, one, and two, three, and one, and. You know, just really emphasize those ones. Then you try to apply that to the guitar. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and. So do that and get the first half of the strumming pattern just like that. Then we'll take a look at the second half. And I'm gonna overlap this a bit so that last upstroke that we ended on, we're gonna start on that one. We're gonna go miss and two and three and four and. So we start off with a miss. We're missing a main beat, so we gotta acknowledge it somehow or else it'll throw our rhythm off. We're gonna say miss out loud right on beat one. Miss and two and three and if you say like the names of the strokes, it's miss, up, down, 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 up. There's a lot of down strokes in that half. It's not too bad. Use the same method to get it together. And when you're ready, we can glue this whole thing together. I'll go over it super slowly. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So work that out super slowly with the counting. And when you're ready, all we have to do is play that one time on each chord, song's done. That's all there is to it. So take your time with that and when you're ready, we can play it together nice and slow. One and two and three and four and. Alright, so that's all there is to it, and like I said before, if you want to play along with the original recording, which I highly recommend, put a capo on the second fret. And a really good tip for practicing, especially with like a YouTube video, is if you go in the bottom right corner, you can click on that little gear icon, and you can select the speed. So you can actually slow this song down to like half speed, that gives you uh, a way easier time getting through it and I really really recommend that I recommend that to all my students and that's what we do to get better you know practice along with the original recording anyways if you need any extra help don't forget about my free ebook my premium course otherwise have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon